Hello there students. Well, if you are someone who wants to score a handsome percentile in your J Main 2023 exam, then this video is for you. Because today I'm going to share with you the list of easy kill topics in mathematics, which you must give topmost priority while preparing. Because these are high ROI chapters. That means they give super duper high return on investment. In short, low input, high output. They demand relatively lesser input from your end, both in terms of the time and the energy that is required to prepare them, to master them. But at the same time, they reward you with great output because the importance of these chapters, their weightage in the J main exam is immensely huge. So let's get started. We have statistics, mathematical reasoning, heights and distance, sets, relations and functions. All these chapters are extremely simple to understand and are very, very less time consuming. Moving on to sequence and series, then we have quadratic equations, then we have matrices and determinants, which is the favorite of the J team. Mind it, you guys, many a times you get questions from matrices and determinants, which involves the concept of, let's say, cube roots of unity or its properties. So make sure when you are on this chapter, you have a fair amount of idea of the most important concepts and results from complex numbers as well. Up next, we have vectors and 3D geometry. And now I want to say conics because we all know it is important. But let's not ignore the fact that it is one of the weak areas of majority of students. So I would strongly recommend you to just focus on excelling at straight lines and circles first. Moving on to calculus, we have limits, continuity and differentiability, area under curves and differential equations. But hey, here's a catch. Just knowing that all these are easy kill topics is not enough. What is even more important is these three points which you must listen to. Number one, you know, on an average from each of these topics, you can expect roughly one to two questions in the paper. And most often than not, they will be doable questions, which means that these topics, they are not just super duper easy to prepare or understand or master but they are also highly scoring. So it's a win-win situation. Number two, the formulas from trigonometry, inverse trigonometry, differentiation, integration, or some direct straightforward results from AOD, or the results from inequalities in modulus, or the wavy curve method, all these are tools and weapons which are aggressively used in cracking questions from almost all the topics in mathematics. That's why you have to make sure as and when you need them, you are recollecting them. And simultaneously, you are writing them on a sheet of paper, be it your formula sheet, cheat sheet or flashcards and keeping that handy near you so that it is accessible when you want to refer to them or when you require them later. All right. Point number three, which is the last point, but definitely not the least. It is how to go about preparing these topics. Step one is go through your session notes or your class notes as well as your DPPs. Step two says whatever booklet or worksheet or module you have for that chapter, solve that. In fact, there are certain chapters like for instance, vectors and 3D, for which even NCRT Exampler gives a great exposure of questions. You must check it out. Step number three is solving the J main previous year questions. Very, very, very important and something which is non-negotiable. And last point is once you are done with all three, then you have to make short and sweet summary of that chapter, which will act like short notes for you. Very helpful when you want to revise this chapter in future. And with that, it's a wrap people. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Goodbye and take care.